Hey, this is Ryan Hayden from Row and Table. You can find out more about us at rowandtable.com. We're a web design and development forum that specializes in doing stuff with Airtable. And in our last video, I showed you how to make a to-do list, which was pretty cool and pretty powerful, but we really didn't get into how to use it very much. And so in this second video about this to-do list, we're gonna kind of uh, take it in and polish it a little bit and show you how you would actually use it. And in the way, along the way, we'll probably learn a lot more about Airtable and some of the stuff that you can do with Airtable and what makes Airtable so special. So right now we've got our to-do list and we set up these fields. We've got the date field, task field, uh, due date, uh, notes, attachment, status, collaborators, and project. And then if you jump into project, all project has is a uh, name and to-dos and I've added details. Okay, that wasn't there before. So that's all that we have right here. Now, how would we use this? Okay, well, for instance, I've got a project tonight. Me and uh, somebody on my team are gonna meet together tonight and build a Jekyll plugin. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put this in here, Jekyll Airtable plugin. All right, and the details, uh, well, it's not Airtable, it's actually gallery. The details are we're going to uh, build a gallery plugin for Jekyll. That's better than what's out there now. All right, now, so I've got the project details there. Well, how do I add to do's to this? Of course, I could go back in here and I could run through that. But you can actually add a to-do right from the project thing. If you hover over this little plus button and click it, it will pull up the to-dos that are there. You can add it to the project, but we want actually want to add a new one. So we're going to click add a new project, or <coughs> actually add a new to-do. I'm just going to click today. And let's say uh, map out the project. And that will be due tomorrow and we could add some notes or not going to. The status, we'll say not started yet, okay? And we'll come back to this collaborators, but you'll notice the project already says Jekyll Gallery plugin. So if I click done here, uh, we now have a project there. So jump over into to-dos, that project is there. So first thing to tell you, the first little trick here is that you can actually, if there's two linked records, you can actually add a record without having to jump back into another table, okay? First thing. Second thing, all right, so I've got this, why is this useful? You know, well, this is actually very, very useful because you can pull it up on your phone. And uh, so if I had the Airtable app on my phone, which I do, okay? Um, I don't have this email address set up on my phone, so let's share it with myself. So I'm gonna go on here and I am going to share this with my other email and you have some options uh, you could share it as read only which means that this email can only read it edit only which means this email can edit data and add data to the table but they cannot edit the schema they can't change you know these columns or creator which basically has the same access as you so we're going to choose edit only and send an invite and then if I jump over into my phone here now, and I open up the Airtable app, I now have this to-do list underneath shared bases, and I can edit stuff on the to-do list, add stuff on the to-do list. So I'm gonna go ahead here and quickly add a task. Uh, okay, um, go here. All right, I'm gonna quickly add a task. Let's say done today, just sample, do tomorrow, status, not started yet, collaborators, doesn't matter, doesn't work. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. We'll say this is in our gallery and you'll notice right there, <laughs> as I was doing it on my phone in real time, it jumped in onto the screen on my computer. So just super way, helpful way to collaborate with people. You can share this with whoever and you can collaborate on projects this way. Another thing is you have this collaborator field. So not only can we share the whole thing with people, but we can share just specific database, 
and, and we could change, you know, I could say, take this collaborator and I could change this. Let's rename this to assigned to. Okay. And let me add um, another one of my guys. Let me see. Let me add Andrea because he's the one that I'm going to be working with here. All right. And so Andrea has been added. So I can say map out project and I can assign this to Andrea. And now Andrea will get a notification about the things that are due. Now, this grid view is already getting a little bit messy. So let me show you one other thing that we can do here that will make this a little bit better. Um, we can actually create a second grid view. So I'm gonna click grid. And let's say that I want a grid view that's just for my stuff. So I'm gonna Ryan stuff. All right, and I'm gonna do a filter. These filters are super powerful. So I can click add a filter. And we're going to say where assigned to is Ryan Heaton. All right. Well, right now I don't have anything assigned to me. So if I go back into the main grid view and let's say I'll take this one here and this more stuff and I'm going to assign it to myself and I go back into the grid view, Ryan stuff, you'll just see my projects. One other thing we can do with this is we can actually share this page. So let's say you have a bunch of a bunch of projects and you want to just set up like a dashboard where you can share just that person's to-dos in a read-only way with them. You could actually do that very easily. Uh, if you click on this little share button, um, you can click this create a shareable grid view private link. And then, um, it actually gives you this URL, and if you share this URL or you embed this URL on a website, then this view, just this Ryan stuff view here, will be uh, will be shared. So, very very handy, very powerful thing here that you can do uh, with with this to do list. And you know, we could add other tables and link the tables together. I mean, the sky is really the limit. It's really limited only to your imagination. You don't have to be a programmer to do this kind of stuff. Anybody, you know, that just plays around with Airtable a little bit can figure this stuff out. And it's it's just really, really neat. So keep coming back to the channel. We'll have more of these videos that uh, will show you how to do this kind of stuff. And we'll go far beyond this and show you, you know, how you can take these things and expand them as well.